A very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Ports have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I mentioned. There's the whistle and here we go. Cola. Diamanti. Cuts it out. It's ball. Who's going to get there? tackle the question that's a foul it's not taking him long that's going to be a booking United ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Milik. Saka. Milik. Ways to get it forward quickly. That'll be a throw in. Fair. of his opposite number Adrian Pins it over to the other flank oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there oh, Peter his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated the middle. Oh, smart save. Turns and goes back. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Plays 
it long. Keeper being intercepted. He's got options out wide. Lovely bit of skill. Shot a goal! Really well taken goal. Two up now, and they are cruising. Jim, your thoughts? Well, the penalty box usually is the place where you get least time on the ball, and yet they were able to exchange passes before an unchecked finish, and I mean, to be honest with you, that should open up an inquest. comfortable from here on in well at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised but now that it's gone to two mindsets are affected a lot more winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other nicely controlled Sit forward. Adria. Danger averted for now. True Bangkok United in it back again. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ahanach on the right now. What's on? Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. And he 
who's there to clear it. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. Diamante. And it's Sakai. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Ahanach. Hoists it forward. Kola. Milik. Adria. Saka. He's made good progress from a deep position. Hit into the middle. Forward it goes. Adrian. Port are in control here on the brink of half time. Milik. Across the field it goes. Adrian. Ailing. In comes the towering header! Good delivery, no joy. Ah, oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. And it's played forward. To throw in Ahanach It is quite a run he's making here. Up to meet it! He just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Get it forward quickly. Ahanach. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's a long ball and it's not hit its target. Sakai. First half is done. 
review the first half, well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Port in control at half time, 2 0. And we're off again. Port really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. Lilink. No, no way through there. Adria. Ailing. Balls out on the left now. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Get that clear. Come loose. And it's Saka. to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Ailing. Out towards the flank. It'll be a throw in. Oh, real danger here. to safety out to the left it goes Saka Adria has a pop oh that was nice but not quite the end product required it didn't quite come off on this occasion but it only needs a gentle tweak He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. a game here. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Has a goal! True Bangkok United are leaving men forward, threatening to break. Well, if they're not putting the work in by getting back, they have to deliver with this tactic. Over to the left. Oh, sweet beat. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Hit hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. No, that's not the ball he wanted. 
Hoists it forward. Keeper's got good distance on that. So 2-1 now, and things have got a whole lot more enthralling here. Yeah, this is a real psychological test now that will tell us whether one side buckles and the other kicks on. personnel that a foul? yes the uh, referee's given it change here and that has been cleared looks to drop one in true Bangkok United with another corner Stitch defending, but that'll do. Defending of the desperate variety. It's wrestled off the ball. Run down the right. Where could this lead? Chance to play it in. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. True Bangkok United are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Now the cross. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Fair. Yeah. 
And he's going long. And the ball is out of play. Different changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag. And he was never going to last until the final whistle. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And it's played forward. Adrian. And it's Saka. Saka. Work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Corner given. And it's been taken short. That's a throw. Lovely feet. Gets the chance to cross. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Just five minutes remaining now. Port needs to hold on for a few more moments. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. True Bangkok United need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation and it needs to be any time now really time added on will be two minutes it's gone for a throw in Set one up. So that's it. It is all over. Port winners by the odd goal. Really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Could you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from wide areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.